Hello everybody, it's me, Ember, and in this video I will be showing you how to get Chromite in Monsters of Etheria. First off, you're going to want a monster, kind of like, uh, I kind of forgot his name, but this guy, the Evolution of Mudstorm. Uh, level 100, you could teach him Earthquake by going over to the training ground and giving this guy one Entropy Orb in order to learn the move that you want. But you're going to want Earthquake for this. Or at least I'm using Earthquake for this. I don't know if you necessarily have to. But I am. You can find the quirky orbs like kind of under the water. Uh, usually, I can't talk. Usually they'll be like under there, kind of like that entropy orb is, and then there's that orb. But you're gonna look for the green ones, and they'll go all the way up to the river, like there. There's one right there. Anyway, once you have a monster that has Earthquake, you want to go over here to this cave. And once you're in that cave, you're going to see where those stalactites are. Well, you're going to use Earthquake, and that will cause them to fall down. And then you're going to harvest them. So go over, harvest all of the stalactites that you knocked down. Boom, 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 boom. And suddenly you have Chromite. Now if you go over into your monster selection screen, you should be able to find... Do, 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 do. Chromite, right here. When you play as Chromite, you are going to spawn here in Whistleboro Cave. So it's a nice way to get over here quickly if you want to. Anyway, that is how to get Chromite. If you need help getting any of the other monsters in the game, then you can go ahead and find out how to get them by watching my channel. I have videos as to how to get every single monster in the game. Anyway, that is all for this episode, so I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!